what is going on youtube and welcome to the video i hope you guys are all doing well if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button uh, make sure you guys like the video and hit the bell for the notifications to get notified when a new video comes out if you guys have any speci uh, specific questions feel free to comment below it is uh about 4 a.m um tuesday tuesday morning uh, a lot of exciting things going on today. Um, real quick, I play World of Warcraft, so Shadowlands just came out and I was just leveling up um, on that. And hopefully the light, the lights aren't bothering you guys. I turned down, I have two LifeX light bulbs, um, smart light bulbs above me. Um, I do need to get some soft boxes so I have better lighting. Um, that's why the lighting doesn't look the best because I have, I dim the lights so you guys can see the nano leaf. Um, but hopefully that's not bothering you guys too much. Um, and I am pretty tired. It's like I said, 4 a.m. So I, hopefully I'm not stuttering my words or, you know, nothing too bad here. But I do want to get this video out. Um, it's been a long last few days for me. I am on vacation. So I'm very happy to have some time off from work. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into today's video. I'm excited. Robin Hood. Uh, we're going to be doing a Robin Hood review and my pretty much a high growth portfolio update um, as you guys can see we are doing i i don't even know how to explain this i i'm doing pretty pretty damn well right now so we're at about 2500 bucks uh i'm gonna kind of go over my portfolio with you guys um, so this is a high growth stock portfolio um it, unlike m1 finance i am not focused on dividends here. I'm focusing on stocks that are growing and growing fast because we want to make that money. Uh, but yeah, you guys look at this. This is the the best day I've had ever. Uh, I mean, to some people, this may not be a lot of money. Oops. But look at this. So we're up almost 8% today. Or I mean, we were up at 8% today. Um, if you combine the day and then the after hours so 137 and about 50 bucks this keeps going down but it was a little bit higher uh so i mean we were up about 200 dollars for the day and that's that's crazy and then if you go to my all uh up almost 18 percent and it just keeps going up uh almost 400 dollars were up total and just to let you guys know i just started investing in robin hood about a month ago um yeah the graph is like i think midway through october uh, this is weird i still don't completely understand how because i didn't have two thousand dollars in but i mean this is right when i started putting money in robin hood so it's been a little over a month guys about a month and a half almost and i'm at about i've been you know i've been obviously aggressively putting some money in um into the account so uh i'm gonna go over what i like about robin hood kind of give you guys my opinion of it my thoughts and uh i'll, I'll kind of briefly go over some of the positions you guys can obviously see all the stocks that i have um and then like the watch list the, these are stocks that i'm currently keeping an eye on um my first list i have to probably delete this and then um you, there's like bitcoin you, like what's nice about robin hood guys is you can if you're in the crypto bitcoin um you can trade trade crypto on here you can trade options you can buy reits etfs um it's got the whole deal all right so before we get into the actual review of the platform and some of my stocks i am not a financial advisor everything you guys see is for entertainment purposes only this is my own money that I'm putting in here. With that said, what I like about the platform is it's very beginner friendly. You guys can see uh, it's not super complicated. I just started a Weeble account um, recently just to get the, the stocks for signing up. And it's a lot more complex than Robinhood. And uh, I am, like I said, I'm not a complete beginner but I am, I, I am a beginner. I'm pretty new to this. So um, with all that said, I, I have been doing a lot of research and watching um, a bunch of other YouTubers. But Robinhood, if you guys are looking just to, if you're a beginner, a complete beginner, or even intermediate, uh, you, I, I would recommend Robinhood. Just, you know, put some money in. Uh, with that said, 
uh, there is a referral link in the description where if you guys click the link and you sign up, meaning if you haven't had a Robinhood account before and you guys sign up, you're brand new, you will get a free stock and I will get a free stock. So that'll help support the channel. You could be getting like Apple, Microsoft, these stocks are over $100 just for signing up. So uh, doesn't hurt to try it out. Like I said, you guys would you know help support out the channel. So there's a link to that below as well as if you guys are looking for to sign up for m1 finance i do have a link for the m1 finance as well uh but yeah with that said uh zero commissions i think Robinhood was i don't know if it was the first platform or i know it was one of the first ones if not the first to put on uh put put zero commission trading on their on their platform and then a lot of other brokerages followed suit to that um like i said you could do options trading crypto and uh, I don't know when, I think it was some some point recently this year, they offered uh, fractional shares. So like if I click, uh, click on Shopify, uh, you guys can see the price right now is $986.36 for one share of Shopify. So that's kind of a lot of money. Most people, I would say, don't have the amount of money just to drop a grand for one share of Shopify, right? So what you can do is you can go ahead and purchase, um, can't do it right now because the market is closed, but you could purchase, um, say if you just wanted to put $50 or 100 bucks into Shopify with fractional shares, you could do that. Like, what do I have? Uh, my position is $76.34, which um, is, yeah, you know, 0 0.07%, um, so under 10% of a share is what I own right now. Um, but I, I like some of the tools, uh, Robin Hood, it shows you, so, you know, it's just basic information, guys, it, my port, it's about 3% of my portfolio, um, shows you the total return, today's return, um, Shopify hasn't been doing too good for me right now, we're about, we're still in the, in the, in the red the last three months overall, but I know this is, um, this stock will eventually, It'll eventually make its way back up, but um, you can see the CEO, um, the amount of employees, where they're located, what year, uh, what year they're founded, um, the market cap, the PE ratio, the dividend yield. They don't pay a dividend, obviously, um, and then just like some news articles pertaining to uh, the company. So it's got some good basic stuff. Uh, uh, okay, so what I wanted to show you for like, let's say Apple. Um, so Robinhood has uh, what's known as DRIP, um, Dividend Reinvestment. It's a dividend reinvestment plan. So if I scroll down here, and I know this because Apple recently paid me on the 13th a dividend right here, history dividend. And they paid me 17 cents. So uh, I don't own that much Apple. That's why the the... the dividend wasn't like you know super big or anything but I own about a hundred dollars and it's about four percent of my portfolio so um, this is Apple something I'm gonna keep purchasing it's not something I've been putting a ton of money in at the moment but uh, yeah so they that's that's nice um, so I just every time I get paid a dividend essentially from a company it'll just reinvest it and buy more shares of the company so that's what that means. Uh, but you guys, so I'm focusing, I'm not day trading here again. I'm focusing on holding these companies uh, generally for at least five years, you know, at least a few years. Um, if something ends up doing really well, I might sell part of my, some of the shares, you know, uh, the, the company that's been on fire, I should say companies in general are EV. Let's look at, uh, Xpong or Xpeng, I don't know how how people say it. I think it's Xpong, but uh, yeah, they were up thirty four percent, about thirty five percent today. I don't. This company is just. I don't know. Understand how they're higher than Neo right now. Um, those of you guys that have been following like the EV stocks and everything will know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, seventy five dollars almost $75 a share and then if you look at my total return I am up over a hundred percent on this company and like I said I just started investing on Robinhood a month ago uh, 
so I've made $153. I mean, unrealized gains. I haven't sold my position, so it's unrealized gains. Uh, average cost I got in was about $36.22, um, and I own about four shares right now. So uh, I wish I bought more shares. I'm actually looking to buy more shares once the price, I'm assuming, is going to have a correction here soon, and it's going to go down. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's just crazy to me. So... Um, that company, um, it's a Chinese EV company along with Neo here. Let me just go down the list. So I have Shopify, Amazon, Apple, Glue, Mobile, which is a, a mobile gaming company, Sony, uh, MasterCard. So you guys can see this number. The top number is the share price, the current share price. And then this is this was just the percentage um change for the day uh, yesterday so Etsy uh, Etsy I think is gonna do really well especially with the holidays coming up here Square AMD Alibaba um, Xpong Neo Teladoc um, Teladoc was a, is an interesting one it's the leading company they just merged with Liva, uh, Livongo I don't know if I'm saying that right um, does it say it here I don't know. I don't think it shows it, but um, yeah, they just merged with another company, and they're the leading. I believe they're the leading company in telehealth. Um, so they, I bought them at a good price, one seventy-seven, and they. So I've been up about sixteen dollars. I expect them. They should continue to go back up because, as you guys can see, in the last three months, they're still down in the red. Um, but this company is. You know, I'm 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 banking on this company of they're gonna keep going up. Uh, Nintendo, I believe Nintendo's actually a pretty good company. I bought in on them at 64 uh, average cost, and uh, I know they're building. A, I think it's a theme park in Japan next year. Um, I did some research on this company, and I believe again I'm holding these companies long term, guys. I'm uh, you know at least a few years. So it's, I, I, and just starting off, I'm just doing some research, trying to find what, you know, what companies are gonna, you know, maybe 2X, 3X and, and beyond in the next three to five, even 10 years, you know? So um, Tesla, okay, yeah, Tesla. So I believe it, Tesla's been going up. Um, in the last few weeks. They were just uh, announced to get into the S&P 500 about, or it's happening in December. I don't I don't think the date is like finalized. So they're not actually in the S&P 500, but when they announced that their shot, I know that I remember uh, their uh, stock shot up in the after hours, which was from 408 to 444. And this was what, almost 10 days ago? And as you guys can see, they've been uh, just steadily going up, and now they're at 534. So Tesla's been booming. So I believe since Tesla's been taking off, and I'm going to keep buying a lot more Tesla. I only have about $350, and I'm almost at a $50 return. But uh, I believe since Tesla's been going up, um, and they got they're getting into the S&P 500. That's why we're seeing um, like Neo and Xpeng take off and then uh, some other EV companies uh, I just bought this one the other day switchback energy which is going to be merging um, with charge point uh, soon I think that's I don't know exactly when that's happening I think that's in the next month or two or early next year uh, but this company is another like in the last week they're up almost a hundred percent almost nearly 100%. And I'm going to continue adding switchback to my uh, portfolio here. So I got about $80 in them. And then average cost I got in was 23. So I'm going to continue just dollar cost averaging. Um, you know, I'm, I generally try to buy on red days. And then we got workhorse, which uh, again, I'm going to be adding more. These EV companies, I think, I mean, honestly, I, I do see a correction because I feel like they've been just all taken off. But I feel like 
EV is the future. I mean, we're looking at renewable energy, you know, electric vehicles, vans, trucks, cars, um, and all, and you know, all these things. And it's it's gonna be, you know, it's just it's where the future is going. So, um, if you're in this for the long t uh, the long term, like I am, it's I feel like it's the best time to get in. You know, you want to get in when you when you're able to so and then uh, i just got palantir technologies the other day too and i'm going to steadily add more to this position um they were up about 20 percent the other day and then for the week 35 and they've been kind of just taken off too so uh yeah i mean that's kind of my stocks that i have in this portfolio i think it's 19 or 20 holdings i have here guys all right so another feature that i really like about Robinhood is their instant deposit feature so if i were to buy let's say um so you guys can see i have zero buying power so i have nothing in Robinhood to like currently buy any stocks but if i were to put like i think i have to click this no, I usually I'm usually on my phone, guys, when I do all this stuff, so I'm not really used to the desktop version as much. But if I wanted to buy a hundred dollars of uh, Shopify here, I would have to purchase more buying power. So it would deposit it from my bank account to Robinhood, but that would take a few days to go through. But it would instantly have this money available so obviously the market's closed right now but say if it was noon and i wanted to buy a hundred dollars of shopify and i had zero buying power it would allow me to do that you just got to make sure you have that money in your bank account because if you don't that would not be good because it would i think they would uh have a fee and they would potentially take away the instant that um, feature Robinhood is more active investing uh, than like the M1 Finance. If you guys watched my last video, I'd say that's probably the main difference I can think of. You can like set up reoccurring orders, um, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, to buy um, certain stocks. I haven't really messed with this too much, but it's it's a lot more active investing than like M1 Finance, where it's like you can literally just set it and forget it for the most part uh these you know you need to see you know how the stocks have been doing if you want to put you know a hundred dollars into tesla and it's dipped down say tesla drops a few percent few percentage points tomorrow and you want to put it you know 100 200 in because it's a red day and you're trying to buy you, you know you need to be on the account and you need to be actively looking at this so I'd say that's kind of the main difference is this is more hands-on. Um, and that's why I, I like both M1 Finance and Robinhood for different reasons. Uh, so, I mean, M1 Finance is my dividend growth portfolio where it's more long-term and slow and steady approach where this is high and Robinhood is high growth stocks where um, I'm looking to like as you guys can see I mean we're up 18% we're up almost $400 in in a month of me investing on this platform so uh, th that's crazy to me and hopefully this keeps going good um, I'm doing a lot of research and uh, we're, we're just gonna keep putting the money in and hopefully you know we're gonna keep making money <laughs> that's gonna wrap up this video guys I hope you enjoyed it again check out the links below if you guys want to sign up and uh, help support the channel be sure to like the video guys hit the subscribe button if you are new and make sure you hit the bell for the notifications so you guys get notified when there is a new video um, also if you guys like these kind of videos where I just kind of show you my updated portfolio um, go over some analysis and show you guys my stocks uh comment below uh, that helps the algorithm with the youtube as well um, if you guys want to see something specific let me know just comment below but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video yeah i'm definitely going to keep doing more of these videos i will see you guys in the next one